The results will soon trickle in from New Jersey, where voters cast their ballots in today's primary election. The polls now closed across the state. We have live team coverage of the key races. Of course, Senator Bob Menendez's indictment could have a huge impact on state politics. Dick Brennan is live at Menendez's son, waits to learn if he won a seat in Congress. Let's begin with CBS 2's Christine Sloan, though, first live on the race to replace Menendez Sr. Christine. Well, Christine, we are on the Terhune Orchard and Winery where Andy Kim is holding his campaign watch party. Now, the candidate you will not see on the ballot tonight is indicted U.S. Senator uh, Robert Menendez. He told me on Monday that he had gotten enough uh, signatures to have his name placed on a ballot in November to run as an independent. Now, the senator has been on trial for bribery and corruption. As I told you, he told me that on on Monday that he got 2,000 signatures so that he could put his name on the November ballot to run as an independent should he be found not guilty. A dramatic move for a lifelong Democrat. Congressman Andy Kim is considered the front runner on the Democratic side. He was one of the first people to call for Menendez's resignation. He also fought and managed to get rid of New Jersey's county line ballot system. Union organizer Patricia Campos Medina also running on the Democratic primary in the Democratic primary. She says she spent her career fighting to advance policies to protect working class families. South Jersey businessman Curtis Bashaw is running on the Republican side. He says he is a strong supporter of Israel and is the candidate who will help New Jersey in this tough economy. His opponent, Christina Serrano Glasner, has been endorsed by both former President Donald Trump and U.S. Senator Marco Rubio. Bashaw says New Jersey is ready for for a change. Inflation's too high. We need better jobs in our state. People want a secure border. They want to support law enforcement. Right now, the, the sitting senator uh, that we're trying to replace is in court. And I think that that's something that's, you know, creating so much sense of frustration amongst voters in New Jersey. New Jersey deserves a leader who is looking towards the future of New Jersey. How are we going to go to Washington, D.C. and bring resources back and fight for our, for our children's future? Christine, we should be getting the numbers uh, at around 8.30, and Andy Kim plans on coming out here at around 9.30 to talk to reporters, answer questions. It's a very informal gathering, as you can see, on a winery. We are live in Princeton, New Jersey. Christine Sloan, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Christine. And another race we're following here closely tonight is the tight contest between Robert Menendez Jr. and Hoboken Mayor Ravi Bala to determine who will represent District 8. CBS 2's Dick Brennan is live in Jersey City now with more on that. Dick. Well, Christine, this race, this Democratic primary really snuck up on everyone and everything changed for Robert Menendez Jr. when his father, Senator Menendez, was hit with corruption charges and now he's on trial in Manhattan as we speak. Now, the congressman in the meantime is in a tough fight to be renominated for his reelection to a second term in New Jersey's 8th Congressional District. The challenger is the mayor of Hoboken. Robbie Bala. Bala has tried to tie Menendez to his father, and Menendez uh, tried to turn the tables, and he's pointed to Bala's ethical issues, including losing his New York law license for a while. The race, though, is said to be tight. We have an impressive track record that we ran on and that we're extremely proud of. We have nothing to hide from, and that's why we were out there every single day. That's why we're going to be out there for the remainder of today until the polls close. Uh, because we have a track record. This is going to be a dead heat. Uh, we are in a dogfight. Uh, we don't know who's going to win. There was a lot of negativity back and forth in the campaign through some of the outside independent groups. Um, that's what democracy looks like at the end of the day. Now, the polls have just closed. We can tell you that the internal polls on both sides, both candidates say that this is a tight race, that it would go to the wire, and we're going to be getting some results in pretty soon. We're live in Jersey City. Dick Brennan, CBS 2 News. Okay, Dick, thank you for that update. CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer joins me now with a closer look at some of these races in New Jersey here tonight. So, Marsha, Republican, or rather Democrats, outnumber Republicans in the state by about 900,000, right? That's true. When was the last time we had a Republican senator? <laughs> We're not really sure. Well, my question, though, is 
if Andy Kim wins this primary, is it a home run for him? Well, so here's the question. We have to start with a little bit of history, because you asked me when was the last time yeah. we had a Republican. The answer is, believe it or not, 1982. It was Nicholas Brady. He served for only nine months because he replaced, re replaced a guy named Harrison Williams, who was indicted on bribery in the Abscam case. But to answer your question about Andy Kim, the real question is whether Bob Menendez stays in the race as an independent. Mm. Republicans are salivating. They want him to stay in the race because they want him to split the Democratic vote with Andy Kim, and I'm told that they're even willing to put some money into the Bob Menendez race mm -hmm. so that they can hope for the first time since 1982 to get a wow. Republican to um, represent New Jersey in the Senate, which would make it more difficult for Chuck Schumer to maintain the Democratic majority and stay majority leader. And as Christine noted, um, Menendez Sr. did get enough signatures to run as an independent. So. And he does have support in Hudson County. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so in addition to Bob Menendez Jr.'s congressional race, uh, there is another race that's getting a lot of attention here tonight. There really is. It's 14 term, 14 term, 26, 28 year congressman Bill Pascrell, who represents the 9th congressional district. It's a huge race because it, it goes to the Arab um, conflict in the Middle East, the Israeli mm. Hamas war. He is a strong supporter of Israel. The problem is, is that he represents a district, including Patterson, which has the largest Arab American population in the entire state, mm -hmm. and he's running against a mayor who's been the longest serving Muslim mayor in the entire state. His name is uh, Mohammed Kazrola, and he is hoping to defeat um, Mr. Pascrell. Now, mm -hmm. this would be a huge, huge upset because Pascrell, who, by the way, is 87 years old, has served so long in the House that he has seniority on a lot of committees. So this is highly watched because this really puts the contest together about the first one that people are worried about what's going on in the Middle East. Absolutely. All right, Marsha, great insight, as always. And we're going to be hearing about some of these results in just a matter of minutes. Thank you. And as more numbers do come in, stay with CBS2 for updates. We'll bring you results and analysis of the New, Jer New Jersey primaries tonight at 11 o'clock on CBS2 and also streaming on CBS News New York.